Hello guys, welcome to Omega Unboxing. So today we have uh, two sample packs of the new Crimson Invasion Sun and Moon. We have one booster pack of Sun and Moon Guardian Rising. We have a official, let's just show everything that we've got to unbox today. So we've got a Dr. Zeus Cat in the Hat uh, pot figure. We've got a Jack Skellington uh, Lanyard official Funko Lanyard. We've got a Howard the Duck uh, Speciality Series Funko Dwarves figure to unbox. We have a Street Fighter keyring to unbox and a E3 huge crate to unbox. So without further ado, I'm just going to very quickly crack on with this video. So first thing that we're going to unbox for you guys today is the Cat in the Hat uh, edition for Pops Books Dr. Zeus figure which is a vinyl pop. Uh, I thought these were really cool, so I thought I'd buy one for my missus so that she can have all of them. I'm going to eventually try and get all of these together. The only other one that they had in stock was a fox in socks and Horton, so I thought I'd start off with the cat in a hat, which is edition four. If you like Funko, go to www.funko.com. Also, if you have social media, um, Twitter and Facebook is Original Funko and... Um, Instagram is Original Funko as well. Follow them on their social medias. You'll be able to keep up to date with all the latest and greatest things. And they have giveaways, plus they show off their new products before they're released. So that's really cool. We're just going to leave him like that. So that was just me very quickly unboxing a cat in the hat pop figure. Okay, so that's the first thing that we've unboxed now. Uh, we're now going to do a Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas Disney official lanyard which comes with a Jack Skellington keyring and a little pouch where to keep your important cards and documents in. So we're going to very quickly open this one up and show you what this looks like outside of this box. And then we're going to put that one back together. So how does this one open? The cat's drunk. Right, so this should open from the side just like that. So, once we very quickly just take this out, didn't actually realize that Funko did lanyards, so I thought this was pretty cool. I uh, bought this for my other half for one of her Christmas presents, so I've got to very carefully put this all back together in a minute. Um, but I just thought I'd show you guys because I know a lot, uh, I know that. The Nightmare Before Christmas Tim Burton has a quite a big following. So once you take it out, it just says, uh, let's see what it actually says. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Jack Skellington. Um, it's pretty cool. Comes with a official Disney Jack Skellington key ring. Got a clip as well, so you can take it off. So yeah, and it comes with obviously a Jack Skellington card, so you can put your cards and stuff in there. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, we're just gonna reattach this all together. Let's see if I can get this one back how it was. I hope we're all having a nice Sunday. Uh, funny little thing is I forgot it was Sunday today. Um, so yeah, that was fun. Oh, it also says Pop with the official print. Their, their little logo on the back. So uh, you can tell it's an official one. Um, this isn't going to look how it looks. But, oh well. But anyways, let's just very quickly... Try and put this all back together. So yeah, that was a six ninety nine, and that's a official Funko lanyard. Uh, they had other ones in there, but like I said, I was only looking for a Nightmare Before Christmas, as that's my other half, one of their favourite like brands sort of thing. So yeah, that's just that very quickly. So we've now done. Nightmare Before Christmas official lanyard Jack Skellington and a Dr. Zeus cat in the hat pop. We'll just leave that like that. Next, we're going to do is the Street Fighter uh, Kiri. And we're going to very quickly open this. I'm going to add it to my keys as well, just to show you guys. 
I've got quite a few different key rings. So yeah, this is a Street Fighter Capcom official key chain. Um, it is actually metal as well, which I do prefer. Uh, so we're just going to open this one up. And if you like Capcom and, and all their products, then go to www.capcom.com to check out all the latest and greatest things going on with them. Also, they had a new game release a couple of weeks ago, which I've heard mixed reviews about. Uh, let's see if we can get this off. Obviously, come off. Oh, just like that. Okay, so once she's off, we should now attach these to my many keys. Really sad my lightsaber broke. But, yeah, well, I'm still a Jedi Knight. Thinner one I can put it on. Okay, so we'll put an next Titan for. Okay, so that's a official. That looks so cool. I like the text. That an official Street Fighter uh, Capcom. It's branded as well. Capcom on the back. I don't know if you can see that. Oops, upside down. Capcom, so yeah, that's a official Street Fighter Capcom um, keyring or keychain. So that's two so far. Uh, I'm gonna leave the Pokemon cards till last. Next, we're going to do a Funko Special E Series Marvel Howard the Duck Vinyl Collectible. I've never done any Dorbs figures, they are a, another type of Funko product. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is edition 183. Uh, this is obviously a Marvel's Dorb, Dorb's product, which is a Funko product. As you can see, Captain America printed just by here, the Hulk's face just by there, Spider Man just by here. Um, not really a lot to say about these, but yeah. So, this is the first one I've ever got. I thought I'd unbox it on the channel just to show you guys. Someone should take him out. Um, these ones don't come with bases or anything, and he's just purely a very rounded figure. Um, does it say anything on the bottom? www.funko. Let's see if I can focus the light a bit more. Marvel Funko LLC 2016. Funko.com made in Vietnam, and its serial number. So, no, but we'll leave that. We'll leave him next to uh, the cat and the hat. Obviously, we have these. Three packs to do, but we're gonna leave them until last. Uh, just gonna try and make some room now, so I'm gonna start putting things away. But um, we're gonna do the exclusive huge crate in the background. So in the huge crate, I think it comes with a, uh, a t-shirt, a keyring, a keychain, and some stickers. You can buy these in game, um, depending on what time of year. Will depend on like what sort of crate that you'd end up getting. Uh, so this is an exclusive E three crate, which was reduced. It was thirty pound, but it's now been reduced to twelve ninety nine. And I thought, you know, at, at that price, I can't really go wrong. I might as well just pick one up. Oh, he looks a bit drunk. Like that. Okay, so that's another one. Um. We'll put the Jack Skellington lanyard just to one side. Let's see if we can put him back in his packaging. If we can, happy days. If we can't, I'm going to have to buy some wrapping paper to start wrapping all of this up. Um, good thing that my other half doesn't actually look on my YouTube channel because I've probably done a, most of her unboxings for most of the things that I am getting her on this channel. Um, just because I know a lot of you are buying like similar sort of products and I don't want you guys to waste your money. So the way I see it is if I buy it before you and I unbox it, if you still like it, then you'll still buy it. And if you don't like it, then, well, you won't buy it. Um, I'm just trying to help you guys save money, essentially, because I know what it's like buying products and they don't turn out to be what they're supposed to be. So, let's them three out of the way three of these packs left but we are going to do this huge crate we 
which is normally $29.99 and it's been reduced to $12.99. It's an exclusive E3 huge crate. Obviously, I'm a size small, so I got a size small. Um, I was only really interested in getting a new t-shirt. Didn't realise until I left the shop that this is actually apparently what you get. So you get a watchdog t-shirt or you could possibly get a uh, God uh, Gear of War t-shirt, a Destiny Travel Wallet, a Titanfall keyring. Um, an E3 reversible war poster, a Call of Duty keyring, a Carmageddon limited edition, numbered lithogram, wherever that is. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to very quickly open this up and show you guys what I got in uh, this E3 huge crate. Also, if you like to get huge crates, go down to your local game or go online, check them out, and you'll be able to get some really cool products so let's take this out oh wow we got two t-shirts this is definitely worth the money so we ended up with two t-shirts we ended up with a titanfall official key ring and mic keychain we've ended up with a destiny wallet with two pockets to hold your cards so a destiny card holder wallet uh, we ended up with a Sentinel Task Force Call of Duty Advanced Warfare keychain. What else is in here? A, let's just take this off the stand so I can show you guys a bit better. So we ended up with a Gears of War 4 poster. But when you reverse it over to the other side, it becomes a planner for 2016 and for the first three months of 2017. Obviously, I won't be using that, but I will um, I will keep that poster because that's pretty cool. Even though I don't like Gears of War, I just think that's a nice design poster. Um, and like I said, you know, a Destiny card holder, wallet with two pockets to hold your cards so you can like put your... As it, as it says here, many of the cards, Oyster cards, cinema cards, shooting cards, or anything that's just a standard card will fit into here. That's pretty cool. Um, like I said, we ended up with two keychains. We ended up with a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, oh, uh, that Advanced Warfare, <laughs> Advanced Warfare key ring. We ended up with a Titan Four IMC keychain. Uh, that's the Watchdog official T-shirt. That's the Gears of War official T-shirt. Uh, there's something else as well. And a limited edition Carmageddon damage, uh, max damage, smash, crash, and thrash. It says these were numbered, but I don't think that it is. Oh, it is numbered. It is 1,216 out of 5,000. Um, I might frame that, actually. I might put that in a frame. That's pretty cool. Um, and just before all of that, guys, I'm just going to show you, show off these t-shirts a bit more for you. I'm just going to take these out see what they look like um, and yeah so the first one that comes out oh nice so let me just see if I can show the design a bit better so that's the design for the first t-shirt uh, you guys who are into Gear of War will know a lot more than me as I, I've never been into Gears of War and it's branded even on the back saying Gears of War 4, so that's always cool. I like that cop symbol. So put that one to one side. And last but not least, that all important watchdogs t-shirt. And then we will get on with what you guys have been waiting for, which is the three card like three packs opening. Uh sorry I made you guys wait until the end of the video, it's just I had a lot of stuff to unbox today, and I just wanted to do it all in one video instead of waiting to do it in several many little videos so uh, that's the let's take this off that's the watchdog 2 symbol on the front and on the back it's not branded at all but we ended up like i said that's that's pretty good for 12.99 uh let's just do these packs very quickly so we'll start off with a crimson invasion sun and moon sample pack so we've got a Pikachu, we've got a Lolan Geodude and Midriverse. 
So for a standard, uh, okay, where's that code? Did this one not come with a code? Oh, yes, it did. So if you'd like a free deck on me, enter in that code. And we're just going to do one more, which is the Crimson Invasion Sun and Moon. And then once that's done, I'm probably going to put that here, the keychain onto my set of keys. So, Bunnelby, Shalos, Remo Raid, so pretty standard. And like I said, if you would like another code, for the Pokemon trading card game online, I'll put in that code. Okay, I'm gonna run through them just at the end. Um, I need to make some space. I'm running out of space. Okay, so last but not least, we have the Sun and Moon Guardian Rising Pack. Hopefully we get something decent today. I haven't opened any Seven Moon Guardian Rising Packs in a while. There's that all important code card for the online trading card game. Okay. And how is it? Three cards. Yes. Okay, so Lampet. It's a fable. I think this is gonna be a pretty boring pack. Uh, Marini, Staffles, Slowpoke, Generation 1, Wishy Washy, Nose Pass, Wimpod, Blisby, which is the evolution of um, Jancy. I've never seen that card up. Whoa, that's cool. Uh, so, so we got a Reverse Hollow Machamp. I have never seen that card up before. Gen 1, obviously, so that's pretty cool. And um, metal type energy so I didn't think that was a bad video guys we ended up with um, two pretty decent cards a Blissby we also ended up with a Machamp um, we've given away three codes today as well so that's the first code that's the second code third code thank you for watching a mega unboxing video um, I'm now gonna go and put these actually do you know what I'm gonna do these right now I'm gonna put these onto my uh, key ring just to add to it and then I'm gonna try and find some sort of uh, case that I can use to put the uh, Carmageddon max damage poster on to because I thought that was pretty cool okay so I now have a central task force on my keys and last but not least the Titanfall IMC keychain and then that will be the end of this video guys but yeah like I said once again thank you for uh, sticking around um, I will try and get some more Pokemon code for you guys very soon but like I said until they until these servers are back up, there's nothing I can do. If you check out my previous videos, I've showed you guys how to get a Master Ball in the new Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And also, if you still have Sun and Moon, how to get a Magnaria um, once you've completed 100% of the story. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching the episode of GNG News. My keys are really coming together. So, yeah, thanks for watching the episode of GNG News, guys. Have a good day.